I know it's weird because you're currently only seeing me and Katie's not going to be here. But guess what? I have someone amazing uh, with me and I uh, I am honestly over the moon happy uh, that we're getting these amazing interviews and this is the next in line. So please uh, give the warmest welcome to someone to be art. Welcome, welcome. Hey. I'm going to put well like- Well done getting the name right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> literally sat in front of the mirror and I was like, be art. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for caring. Yes. It, it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, because I'm mortified of names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to get them wrong. So my very first question is a very simple one. And I think it's one that you might have heard before, but I, I want to know the answer. And I know that our audience wants to know the answer. Uh, when did you first know that you want to be an actor, that you want to do this? And, and this, is, this is your way of life from now on. <laughs> oh, well... It's I, f I find that quite a hard one to answer. I don't for a lot of people. I think for a lot of us, it isn't like this this flashbulb moment. Yeah, it's like a series of revelations. So you know, True. Um, I've always enjoyed cinema. I've always been moved by um, that type of storytelling, theatre, and 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 well, later theatre because I wasn't taken to the theatre as a child, but definitely mm -hmm. film was in, always in my life. Um, and when I was a kid at the weekends, I did a sort of um kids group singing acting and dancing mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. one I didn't like was acting because I didn't really, really know what was happening okay I, I didn't I couldn't see how it was singing right you hit the note or you don't yep. dancing you make the kick or the splits or you don't fair fair and acting uh, <laughs> I was kind of feeling emotions watching it but I couldn't I couldn't put my finger on on what was happening and what was going on so I didn't really value it till much later so mm -hmm. long, very long story short, I was um, doing a degree in English literature and I took a Shakespeare module and I went okay. to see a lot of Shakespeare. And yes, I went, yes. Oh, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do because I it was um, so different textually to how you could obviously present. It's so obvious now, but I didn't go to theatre. <laughs> it, it, it just drew me in so much and, and just the richness of the words and the multiple endless ways that you can interpret that that text. Um that was it really I was in so uh, mm -hmm. then yeah that that's sort of it really that was yeah. the decision and then and then yeah I, I, I sort of started auditioning for things but I felt very very out of my depth um, yeah. which people would call imposter syndrome that sort of thing but I decided I needed to train so mm -hmm. I did three years at a drama school and then sort of that that's that's the hard bit over and, and yeah, I've, yeah yeah I've still wanted to do it since graduating yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that. So you're a Shakespeare kid like me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm really boring about it. I'm saying Sondheim in interviews and stuff because we did so much Shakespeare. We also did like this this module of Sondheim and, and they said to us like in, in terms of of at the time bless him he was living in terms of living yeah. playwrights he was the best. He was he was the equivalent of Shakespeare and, mm -hmm. and if you mm -hmm. look at the body of work it's but there and the idea is that any old actor who can't even sing properly could act the shit out of a Sondheim song. That's true. That That's... was the idea. Like, <laughs> if you can act it, you can do it. So you that was do it, yeah. I love musical theatre. So yeah. Oh my god! I okay. Then yeah. now I have to read come from my question list. What is your favorite musical? I oh, need god, to know. That's so unfair. I know. <laughs> How do I? Like every week, that that changes. It, I know. The time. I have no idea. I've never even thought about it. I've never <laughs> even. Honestly, you don't have one that you just go back to and be like, oh, yes, this is just the best. I don't watch them on film. I go and see them in the theatre. So it's about what's on and everything. Yeah. You know? And then I go, oh, this is this is the best one. And then the next one comes. And that's the best one. Yeah. That's the best one now. So yeah. I'm not going to answer it. Sorry. <gasps> that's so mean. <laughs> all, all of them. The one all I've just them. seen. It's okay. I've, I've, I recently saw, saw Cabaret. Loved it. Absolutely oh. loved it. You know, you now I'm so sad That's that Katie is not here because Katie loves Covery. Like, I think she saw it I've like never seen five it live. times. And it, again, it was one of those things. I've seen the film. Obviously, that's one interpretation uh, for uh, also for an audience maybe that aren't into musical theatre. I found it quite a, a, mm -hmm. a simple one. And also, you know, it wasn't always a musical, right? It's based on a memoir. There that's are true. many iterations. Yeah. And then I saw this sort of pure Candor and Ebb version. I went, oh wow and sat as the audience you know felt chills and I went oh yeah. yes it's still got the power to do that I think they'd know the story but <laughs> the setting is I thought the setting was quite clear but they yeah. were a bit yeah. shocked <laughs> and I was like yeah yeah 1930s Germany that's oh, right yeah said. <laughs> yes it is <laughs> freaking love Cabaret I um honestly like 
you know, I'm, I, I, we always joke about this, that uh, this podcast is just basically for me finding my new best friend. And I, yes. I think I think we're on the right track already. <laughs> no, you see, I used to get that, if you're an actor, you should start a podcast. I was like, yeah, that's what the world needs is another it, actor. Yes. But actually, if it was just about me, <laughs> I'd have no guests. It's just me. It's just you talking about the <laughs> things you love. 400 it's part series. <laughs> beautiful i i would listen i would listen 100 uh, percent i'll reconsider <laughs> <laughs> yes yes uh i i love musicals so i'm like you know mm. obsessed with them all right what's your favorite musical oh ah i can only ah. choose one <laughs> yes yeah let's let's just turn this around on you oh no <laughs> you know it's it is really hard if i can only choose it's like not fair is it it's like it's not it's not child <laughs> okay uh, mine is is like also the double side because it's it's yeah. also an animated movie. But they, they recently, I think recently made a musical out of it. I unfortunately haven't seen it, but I listened to the soundtrack and it's Prince of Egypt. All the songs in there, everything. Yeah. I, I I can just listen to it whenever. I can just Fantastic. put it in and, and I, I sing with it because I know all the lyrics. Okay. <laughs> so if, if I really can just only choose one, then it's yeah. it's them. It's them. 100%. Ah, okay. And I still think that When You Believe is just one of the greatest songs like ever. <laughs> you will when you believe. Makes me cry every time and I yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. it like a million yeah. times. So, yeah, yeah, let's let's go with The Prince of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. It's very <laughs> hard I mean, because I'm like hair, Moulin Rouge. Yeah, um, I know, right? Hamilton, everything is like ah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, I haven't seen that one. It's on my list. Oh, I think we've uh, got it in London. I don't think so. Someone will text me now about it. Uh, me. I'm wrong. I think sure I saw it up on Broadway. Yeah. I don't yeah. mean I saw it. I saw a <laughs> sign. Yeah. And then yeah. I went, oh, I'm too poor. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of that. So, yeah, and it was Hamilton. And then I'm sure there was Prince of Egypt because I know the title, but I don't. Yeah. Care. Uh, Prince of Egypt is in London. I think it was is London it? who did oh, it first. Yeah. So, uh, 100% mm. it's, it's, yeah. it's in London. But I, I love highly... musicals, but I'm not a nerd about it, I'm afraid. So, that, that's fair. what that is. Fair. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. But when you can find an opportunity, I highly recommend. Oh, like... oh uh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Let's jump ships for a tiny bit yeah. because we, we have to talk about Karnak. Hey, soldier. And, and you know, I, I think I am very 100% positive to say that everyone loves Karnak. It's honestly such a joy to be around her the question comes what was the process behind bringing Carla to life to life that's a big question isn't it I know um, <laughs> I was very lucky in that it was what I call a psychic casting in that hmm. what I did was right in the audition okay yeah yeah it wasn't one of those things where I had to to read between the, uh, uh, and I was very relaxed in the audition mm -hmm. for reasons and I didn't really care for once about trying to second guess or whatever I just gave my version and then I think I did a second mm -hmm. read thinking okay maybe this is more what they want yeah but it was they gave me like maybe five different scenes to look at and then the character description um which uh, got published on one of the notes which was Sarah Bayliss who was Carlac's personal writer mm -hmm. said you know mm -hmm. if this was today she'd ride in on a Harley uh, bla blaring Black Sabbath and smoking <laughs> a cigar and a leather jacket you know you get the sense of it and yep. I thought okay yep. she's a badass right she's yep. bad and she said oh she's a diesel smoked dynamo with a heart of gold and so that yeah. that gives you most of that character because I auditioned for it in 2020 yeah I yeah. didn't get it yeah. um very different character but she was always she was always from uh she'd always been in Avernus for the last 10 years she'd always been enslaved in this mm -hmm. army I think she was more fighter class she wasn't this big thing yeah yeah, so yeah. That, that's a very different take physically because mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. mo-capped as well so I had to think physically but I just thought you know big badass buff lady maybe yeah. working maybe more working class but yeah they're not much more than that just just the scenes I was given the given circumstances my imagination seemed to be what they wanted so that's that's uh -huh. nice isn't it <laughs> just we yeah. just had to hit the ground running so in terms of bringing it to life there's not much time to go back and forth and check it's like you know the the, the right people saw the audition they like what I did yeah let's try it out and then it becomes does it land with our play testers it's easier especially when you mentioned it I was like I'm sure this was one of your auditions where you just didn't think too much about it I think that's a key <laughs> that's very Carlac right she's not yeah. an intellectual type of lady um, <laughs> but yeah yeah I'm quite freeing in that way actually I was just like look I'm either right for this or I'm not and um 
that's the best every thing every do. British actor I knew was already in it and I was sort of well obviously I'm not going to be in this game because yeah yeah <laughs> but, but honestly when you let it go it's and kind of forget about it maybe and it comes back it's like the most rewarding thing like oh I mean, well, another yes. thing I, I should add was like I was going in. So when I went in 2020, I was recommended by a director called Kirsty Gilmore, who I've worked with quite yep. a bit before yep. and since. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then um, I did uh, an indie game called The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, yes. Yes. Uh, which got a lot of attention um, from everyone, mm -hmm. <laughs> including people that made games. And when um, Twitter was working, it was around this time last year, Twitter was actually working. Mm -hmm. And I could see the posts coming in in order, essentially. Yep. Yep, yep. And um, one of them was this guy who kept banging on about how great he thought the performances were. And I, I, I started clicking, seeing who these people are. And that was um, Cromwell is his uh, mm -hmm. handle. And that's Michael Dowse, who's the head of publishing at Larian. So <laughs> slept on it. I thought, no, you've got to slide into his DMs, which I did. <laughs> and then so what happened was I had his endorsement, right? Maybe I think this act is good, like completely different character from from Carlac. Mm -hmm. I think this person good. I don't think he particularly recommended me for Carla, but it might have been one of those things. Oh, yeah, we saw them a couple yeah. of years ago. I don't know exactly how it worked. And then, yeah, just very, very quickly it, it happened because I think they were ready to go with Carla. So it was all right place, right time. It's all very yeah. strange. This doesn't happen to me. No, having the endorsement of someone from Larian <laughs> yep. relaxed me a bit, Yeah, I think. Yeah, well, them starting from the bottom, banging it, you know, because I've been trying for a while to get on this game as something significant, you know, because yeah, once yeah. you go in as an NPC, you're done. You're, <laughs> you're not coming back as a main character. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm either in it or I'm not. So <laughs> it was a waiting game, confidence from 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 uh, Michael and, um, yeah. you know, and I, I, I'd already auditioned for it. So I thought, well, you know, either they, I don't know what I can do differently. Yeah, that was the process of bringing us up a lot of instinct. But right place, right time stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, just going for it, like, why the hell on and we are so lucky to have you as Carlock because you. honestly it's like all of the performances are like mm. so great you just get lost in the whole thing we had um, so much support you know we had um when you went in the studio you had a movement director um a voice director and mm -hmm. then you had the engineers for each one so you had an audio engineer and a mocap engineer and you have four people backing you up That's supporting course. you you know yeah. as a movement director just going you know we we talked about Laban and we talked about um elements and all sorts of sort of theatre language my, my theatre training came in really mm -hmm. useful here because this is it's black box right it's pure imagination yeah they yeah. the character <laughs> five seconds and say go but I knew that like she had this engine in her chest she's yep. probably a bit stiff from de uh, um, bench pressing too much mm -hmm. so she's all very quite locked in the show so once we found that and the weight of her because it's seven foot you don't want to sort of flap too much yeah they said seven foot I think she's about six six and they go, yeah, yeah damn yeah. it <laughs> But they said, no, she's the biggest character. So knowing that, like, she, she's the biggest character, or the, certainly the biggest woman, why would you care about anything? What worries have you got? You know, that gave me a lot of mm -hmm. help, you know, to to, to do that. And then it was yeah. a bit of gentle giants I knew in real life because Sarah Connor and, and uh, Ellen Ripley weren't going to cut it in this instance. It wasn't <laughs> quite right for this character. Yep. You can't always go to them. This is an extraordinary character. PTSD war veterans. That was a mm -hmm. big thing I yep. thought about because yep. yep. I can read testimony and be relatable. But, you know, I've read and seen films about that sort of thing all my life. I didn't sit down and really get into it. So I was aware that people joke a lot when they're traumatized. That's yeah. a response. And so yep. that helped me justify that that very light side of her character. She's quite um, emotionally quite an, uh, immature sometimes mm -hmm. in the relationship mm -hmm. side of things. And I thought, yeah, I, that all tracks. And then, like, for actual depictions, I thought um, Ray Stevenson in yeah. uh, Rome as Titus yep. Pullo. In Rome, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yep. So, like, yep. massive yep. bloke, so isn't a complete yeah. lunkhead. In fact, he's actually quite sensitive, if you remember when he marries yeah. his servant and he can't articulate. Yes. <laughs> and he's oh my army. God. Yeah. And then he becomes like a gladiator at another point. And he's like, that's <laughs> amazing. And then all of that was in her. So to start with, obviously, like, that's not the finished character, but just yeah. to have something to hang on to yeah exactly exactly that was so helpful oh my i love that <laughs> like immediately as as you say these things i'm like yes oh yes <laughs> like it's, yeah it, it comes through so well like you know it just shows how great of, it's great writing because it yeah. it's consistent you know i i certainly didn't get the full script on day mm. one um and the way it's arranged you might know sometimes is just like um um an excel spreadsheet yep yep <laughs> got a lot of doors yeah so so you don't always you know know the character inside 100 yeah. like you would in a stage play or even mm, a tv mm. show so 
there was a lot of back and forth with the writer and just making sure we've got, we've got the tone right. And then the, some of the directors, you know, have been on it four years. Yeah. Had done maybe the, yeah. the, the equivalent with a star in, the equivalent with Shadowheart. Mm, and they're like, mm. oh, yes, I remember where we are. This is what, and they can just paint that picture for you because you haven't got it. And so their job was, yeah, astounding job by the team, really was. Very blessed to have had that particular experience as a performer. Yeah, oh, we need experiences like that. Like, you know, there are so many things that you hear, they're, they're like, yeah, it was all right. And then uh, and you're like, okay, but like, talk to me about the good things. Well, we did it. <laughs> and I'm like, but. but it like, ended. <laughs> it ended. <laughs> Brutal. All right, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I love to hear this. Like, we, we had an interview with, with Neil and he said the exact same thing. And uh, he was on it so much longer as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah he, he and he, was like... you can see he was brimming with enthusiasm he loved the game he knew it inside out i play games i played D, you know mm-hmm. i was piecing it all together it was yep. like i was playing my own D, like with the with the director narrating what was happening <laughs> i was going right i think okay i think i've I got think, it i think i got it yeah and, and i'm going well yeah you would there's a no there's a, in the underdark there isn't you can't see the sky sam so you don't need to look yeah. up because there's nothing there there's nothing there yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much movement director <laughs> I love that. That it's the tiny details. It's always the tiny oh details. yeah, but that's why they're so full of life, and I think that's why they yeah. landed. Because not only is the writing amazing, but two hundred and forty-eight actors. Remember, a lot of them are doubling, doing more than two characters. Than so two, they yeah. pop. The universe is populated by the actors and their unique physical interpretation. It's feeling maybe more immersive than things have done before. Yeah. Also, you know, they they've they the 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 trees. The tree of conversation is so <laughs> elaborate. And and silly. We've seen how silly it can go, like a real tabletop game. Um, I, honestly, yeah. the, the things that they thought about to put in there, like they were predicting what just idiot yeah. things we're going to do with it. Yeah, and no, I like... remember doing, you do a session, you go, really? Oh, <laughs> oh, we're doing, okay, we're doing this, right. I mean, they'll cut it. And then you see it in <laughs> someone's playthrough and you're like, oh, wow, they didn't cut that. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't. <laughs> like, yeah. come on. Absolutely, yeah. Best best things are like these funny bits, but everything is just great about this game. I'm like, ah, 81 hours, still yes. going strong. Yes. And I love it. Ride I'm like, die. <laughs> yeah. at the beginning, because like so many on the internet, I was like, oh, Astarian is like the best. Yes, I just wanted to do everything to get the approval from him Mm -hmm. but then if Karlak was in the group as well it was like a star in approves Karlak disapproves and I'm like wait what no 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 I would say Lily they're very different people they are and here's the thing like Karlak is more like me because I'm Mm -hmm. like you know I I just want everyone to be happy and that's my whole yeah, goal with the game as well to get the best outcome from everyone but then there's a star in who's like just so freaking charismatic and i'm like i i'm gonna get this boy it's sassy sad boy i love sassy sad boys <laughs> but they can't like disapprove and i'm like okay yeah. so I, I had to reload things just to make sure that everyone knows. Behavior. absolutely <laughs> disgusting i wouldn't i wouldn't do such a thing ever no, never oh no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> what are we talking about even now another hard question i'm sure you're gonna mm. tell me then uh what do you like most about Carla? Like? She gets like you know the 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 game takes place over what, a week two weeks, mm-hmm. that's that's what we see, and and we have, she has this very narrow window, yeah, in which to make the most of it as well with all this horrible stuff going on, she has these goals right and she's going to mm-hmm. do this this and this and save the world, mm-hmm. and that's all she wants from life right that that's what she's she's going to she's going to become a hero maybe there's that yeah I love how on track she stays, I love how dedicated she is despite all the horrible shit that's going on. It's not about, oh, she's cheerful no matter what, because Mm. I think a lot of that's masking how she's really feeling. Survive, I suppose, just Mm. to stay on top of it, just to Mm. go, yeah, I'm still going to do the thing I'm here to do. Yeah, I really like that about her. Um, You you know, you can play as a very neutral or evil Karlak, I'm finding, because I'm (laughs) I'm playing through as her at the moment. (laughs) Of course, of of course I can kill the two flicks. (laughs) I'm not going to leave my own game, right? Although that would be hilarious. Like, Karlak wouldn't do that in this yeah. game. You died <laughs> of shame. Um, oh God, yeah. Yeah. So there's quite there's a, a little bit more of a rogue. I'm playing more of a roguish kind of Karlak mm-hmm. because 
she never met anyone that was nice to her. <laughs> Origin's already mean. So they she's are. not going to come out of her shell. She's just here to like profit. So she's, yeah, she's a bit pickpockety at the moment. We're going to tone that one down. But um, it, it's quite interesting. Like, yeah, we've got, she, you know, the, the car like you meet who blooms a bit. That's only because you've treated her in the way you've treated her, right? Mm. Just mm-hmm. because you've wanted her approval. Uh, you'll get a very different experience if you don't, you know, and... Um, I saw that. I I yeah. checked it on YouTube. A low approval rating. Like she's not going to open up to you. You know, it's not. That's that's the traumatized soldier. It's not. Yeah. Not going to make friends. wasn't Wasn't here to make friends. It's a mm. bonus. Yeah. So yeah, I like I like the tenacity and 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 as lovely as everyone thinks she is, she is out for revenge, <laughs> and she likes killing things. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes her more realistic. Yes, <laughs> I like that. About her. And still, she has a heart of gold because I'm like. I mean, they all fucking deserve it right 100 yeah. 100 she's not she's not going to take them to court yeah she's not going to daredevil it like no. it's it executions mate yeah although that would be very interesting to watch mm. yeah she would lose <laughs> that's if she true was, if she was her own representation she's not going to win yeah. <laughs> imagine like the, the intelligence roles of oh no god <laughs> Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> I have to ask because uh, we know that video game productions are very different from like TV. And you mentioned it that you worked in mocap as well uh, for this game. So do you have like any fun uh, memories from there, or or just like a day where everyone went crazy with it? And you just have we need bloopers. I feel like that this cast has like a long like two hour. That, that's up to Larry. I mean, they recorded Please. everything. They recorded everything. They've got it all. So right. Please <laughs> I mean, release they're it. Not doing, they're not doing anything. I think they're quite bored, to be honest. They've got nothing to do. Not they can come the up with a DLC or much. anything. Um, I think a lot of it is in the origin stuff, which I don't really want to spoil. I, I, I keep saying that whenever the crash mat came out, I knew I was going to have a laugh yeah. because the way we filmed it was you had to stand on the spot okay. for a lot of it. Just so we weren't walking around. We weren't in the room with other actors. and it was like, We had our own stunt unit and another facility to do those scenes. You know, think of Lazelle and um, Shadowheart getting into a fight. That was done by mocap actors. I guess like they're just going to do it quicker. I, d- I don't know what the story mm. is with that, but mm. we would need fight directors, whereas the mocap, a full mocap person can just do it. Yeah, there's all the flirting and all that. I remember doing that by the fire when she says, I want to ride you to see stuff. It was one of my audition lines, and it obviously went down <laughs> well. I think I just said it in the same words. But yeah! <laughs> and I remember having to sit on the crash where I go, oh, this is very intimate. The, the, the very, very, if you meet her without Will, and she's yes. on fire and she stands yes. up and you said yep. how have you been and she's like never been better <laughs> i like that <laughs> yeah that that's was how i met her yep. early on yeah before yep. the paladins of tear before she tells you about the engine and everything yep. she's starting to realize and this is like this isn't in the game she's starting to realize that this isn't great right this isn't working mm-hmm. up here mm-hmm. and she's going to tell anyone because she's a liability right and i know everyone has their secrets and they're keeping for a lot longer but she also has hers at the beginning and so it was like i had three levels of fire Mm-hmm. And every mm-hmm. every line I'd go, how on fire am I? Is it a one or are we at a three? Because that would change like the vocal because I'm in pain, right? Mm. So yeah, all that sort of stuff, that, that very early on those intro scenes, those, those were fun because I mean, mm. you had to approach it from a technical point of view as well yeah. as emotionally. How on fire am I? Is it a two? Right, a two. Okay, right. Yeah. Should we do another one with a one just to see how that, yeah, yeah, yeah go on. And I remember having to like kneel and get up and kneel and get up. And it just went on forever. And uh, it was fun. And I did one with like a really evil laugh. It was an evil laugh. <laughs> Can you show the evil laugh? Now I want to hear it. Yeah, go on. <laughs> okay. So she's on fire. You approach from behind. <laughs> a little bit evil. Just so a tiny bit. <laughs> tiny bit. She was enjoying the power. They were like, you're enjoying the power of the engine. I'm like, yeah, I can do that. I can imagine that one. <laughs> yes, the evil left. I love a good evil left. That was very good. I was like, ooh. <laughs> we do have Tasha's hideous laughter in there, I think. I'm That's sure that there's a video, there's a cut up which has all the characters reacting. Yep. Yep. Definitely to a laughter spell. And I can't remember if I did roll around on the floor or not, but I do remember being like out of control. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Yeah, there's all sorts. There's all sorts of stuff, and I don't want to ruin it. But as I said, if if I'm lying down and and talking and laughing, those are the funniest ones that we ever did. Because <laughs> I had a lot more license to move around. And yeah, twice. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
oh i love i just love the whole mocap thing and the idea behind it uh one of my favorite movies is you can't see it but it's here on the wall is planet of the apes with oh. the andy circus one yeah yeah fantastic work i yeah. just love those movies so much and and yeah. it was the first time that i was like oh i i really want to do this too like i i just because I, like you know that the audience knows this and i know they are all tired of it but i'm i'm known as the sean bean of extras because literally everything i did i died in that's like my expertise i mean you know it's sean bean he's awesome so yeah yeah so i'm like that's cool i'm i'm okay with it it would be nice (laughs) i can do other things you know yeah talk as well it would be so nice (laughs) you can talk and die at the same time yes 100 percent can't do that so please hire me (laughs) <laughs> uh but uh i i after watching planet of the apes i was like oh i i really want to die in more <laughs> i'm sure that can be arranged i you just have to know the studio that doing it sure. i know i have to find one of them just be like hi hey, <laughs> hey how well, are I've you i've got a bit of a specialism yes <laughs> <laughs> here's my show reel <laughs> and it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying yeah. everywhere. I'm That's very it. good at this. Yeah. Professional. It. They say that with this, I'm becoming immortal because I die so many times. I take in, it in a unit in one universe. Yeah, I'm sure they all um they all they all cross over at some point. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Right. So you're like the a visual an... version of the Wilhelm scream. Oh, yes. It's every movie, there's a shot of you. <laughs> Completely different costume, befitting the movie, obviously. <gasps> uh duh <laughs> not just the same shot no 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 different costumes <laughs> hair and... oh, in every film that's amazing let's do this and now we desperately want to do that okay that's an idea now i have to live forever to nail this <laughs> obviously yeah duh easy peasy lemon squeezy but mo- <laughs> mocap is is definitely something on the list be like just once at least try it let's look into the future with our mm. little crystal globe is there a role or, or or a studio that you really want to work with and 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 just you know is is there a, a dream let's call it then uh that you're trying i to... think do you know what? i feel like i've done it with this job like genuinely think i've done it it's it's awesome. just such a great role it's such a great part to play and i spent so much time with her mm. i certainly wouldn't want to put um not all my eggs in one basket let's put it that way don't like the constant reboots and mm. and all that sort of thing and also mm. like all those actors are still alive so I could say Mass Effect but I really like Jennifer Hale and I want her to continue playing Shepard <laughs> as much as much as I'd love to have a go at Commander Shepard it would be a little unfair to do that sort of thing so yeah I I just love I love playing characters that move people as I said mm. I hit the jackpot with Karlak yep yep um, you know he's such an interesting person and, and flawed but she's so lovely i think people yeah. have forgotten how flawed she is which is which is great a great you know i think yeah. the same with his astarian as well people are really in love with him and forget he's evil he he's evil um it's a, it's a bit evil he's yeah. a little bit evil um you know and, and beware of doing everything he wants you to do yeah even but... if, if you're in love with each other yeah <laughs> that's oh i never thought about it like that yeah. i always i always thought about it like how smart they were because it's there's always the fix me character, like people just fall we're, in love we're with all, them. We're all the fix yeah. me characters yeah, in this. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. everyone is like, I can fix that. Like there's there's this famous meme, like I can yeah. fix that. Yeah, I can. And 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 I think yeah, Orin, especially I can fix like, her. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you can do that, like like yeah. and I'm like, oh you this this is a very smart studio. I'm like, oh my god, how do you think about these things? Uh, do you know what? In terms of like actual like what I'm doing rather than franchising. Mm-hmm. I'd like to play someone evil. That would Ooh. be nice because I haven't done that. There you you haven't done an evil role yet? I don't think I've done one. Hmm. Unless I'm one of those really annoying actors, right? That's like, no, they have their reasons. They're wonderful. <laughs> Even when they're like the worst character yep. in it. <laughs> um, I mean, no, you'll laugh already. No, not fully, not fully evil. Not like bad, the baddie. I'd like mm-hmm. to play the baddie. Oh, I can see Just that to see if I can bring some complexity. I could do the laugh. You definitely, definitely do that. I, I talk about being quite bloodthirsty. That mm. I've got that down. Yeah, and then just being mean, which I haven't had to do, not really. Mm. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually when we do like theater and, and whatever. I'm always the. I am either the evil character, which I'm like. I don't know if it's a compliment or I should be offended by it. But it's I'll a take step it. up from being dead. True. 
Yeah. That you know what? That's true. That's very right. true. <laughs> but or I'm the I'm the comedy character, like you know, the that's one is good. Like, that's a good range, though. It's a, a bit, that's I a good range. I do like it. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like at one point I asked my <laughs> our director, like you know, can I can I play like can I just have a, a go at something else? <laughs> yeah, like a like a romantic role or whatever. And she she literally went like, you. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean is, me? <laughs> is it the same director? It is. Yeah, that you see, you've been typecast here. Yeah, that's what's happened. Yeah, yeah, I so, think so. so. Basically, it's not you. It's I hope director. so. <laughs> no, 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 it's not you. It's the director. Oh no, I'm fairly certain that I would suck at a romantic role. Well, because... don't tell them that. <laughs> don't tell them that. No, no, no. It's between us. It's between us. Oh, okay, <laughs> no one's just... watching this. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know. I, I just feel like that. I'm, I'm. I always laugh at like the very intimate situations it's, it, even if it's flirting i can't i don't know how to do flirting in real life like not just yes, you, are, you are carlac yeah 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 basically <laughs> that's why i'm like carlac is basically me i'm like i, I can't do it I, I become very i don't know just laughing and giggling yeah. at everything i'm just an idiot but i also think that's true because that is your true response it is <laughs> I think you need another director, frankly. I think so too. <laughs> you might you, you might not be in a position to to call that one, but um, you yeah. know, everyone's got their tastes, right? Yeah, it's okay. I like playing evil. It's um, every time I get to what do you got to do? Make them really charismatic mm-hmm. and um, and understandably evil, and then everyone's on your side, you see, and then and then you can disappoint them. But yeah. or they'll go, yes, she had her reasons. <laughs> she had her reasons, and yes. that's like you know if I. We were always told that in sort of drama school, like if you're playing the worst of the worst, like how do you justify it? And it's like you have to find like people even yeah. people don't realise they they don't think they're evil. Mm. They think they they will justify what they do, right? Exactly. That's that's where you've got to be with it. Even if it's like really uncomfortable, mm. you've got to as a performer, if it's not in the text, you have to just find that justification. Which exactly. sounds like you're doing very well, maybe a bit too well. <laughs> I'm a very nice person. Yeah, yeah no, but it's always the nice people that play all the baddies as well. Like that's you that's know constantly a thing, like yeah. in film and TV. Like people say, oh, I met so and so, and they were so nice. <laughs> it's like, can you imagine what a nightmare on set that would be if that person was genuinely awful? Oh god! Or oh, yeah, no, Bad no I, 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 don't, I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I, I think my, which is, I always get that it's weird, but I don't care. My dream role is like a type of role like Homelander is in the boys mm-hmm. that's just mm. pure genius right there. yeah so really complex yeah i love a i love a complex i like to keep audience guessing as to like yeah. what is going on in this person's head it's wonderful yeah you really right. and, and long form tv it's just i'm so happy to be living in these times or at mm-hmm. least a couple of years ago and we were re- making loads of it you know and and something like um better call saw which i did have the patience yep. for what everyone did but um loving i just love that look it's like going to the theater every week a bit when so i'm digressing but i'll finish the point um there's a scene very uh when when um chuck has gone and, and yes. his brother saw's gonna maybe inherit some money or whatever yep. and they call they call kim in to talk to her and she's just no it's not it's earlier sorry uh, it's <laughs> earlier they're trying to talk her out of going out with jimmy that's yes. the whole scene yeah and she sits there in silence and and that's the scene, right? And it's like ten minutes, or it felt like ten minutes. And the camera's on her, and she's—you can see like the suppressed rage. Yeah. And uh, uh, Ray Seahorn is it genius, and it's oh. offensive that she isn't winning all the awards and working yep. more because she just captivated me that whole series. She was a wonder, and she continued to surprise me mm-hmm. right to the end. You know, fantastic, complex, oh. and also, um, you know, the the continuity of character was there as well. It was like when she did something out of the blue. Yeah. It totally made sense. You know, yeah. You yeah. Like the line, but it, it was always justified. And I just thought, wow, she really went for it. She had great writing and everything. Mm. So, yeah, I, you know, I love all the com- complexity, but maybe it's... through the lens of an evil character this time. Mm-hmm. I do like a bit of complex. And I've, I've oh, been yeah. very lucky to have that in recent roles. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I get, oh, now I want to see you in the evil role. Like, come on, studios. Come on. Let's start on. the petition. Come they on. work. I'm... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start the petition and that's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's jump into into 
the things you like, let's call it yeah. that section, or the other name for it, finding my new best friend. <laughs> yeah. I think like we're already good because the second you mentioned Ellen Ripley, sorry, Ellen Ripley is my hero. Fucking yeah. love Sigourney yeah, Weaver. Yeah, yeah. And then you mentioned Mass Effect, which is like my all time favorite game. And I'm like, be best. Uh, so, excuse me, so what was your all time favorite game? Mass Effect. Baldur's Gate 3. Sorry. <laughs> Yes. What a booby. Oh, oh dang, no. That's it. I'm How... going. <laughs> How no, dare I love, you? I love, I love Mass Effect. Mass Effect really taught me what was possible yeah. with acting in games. That that it's... you could get that material, that it was, it was absolutely possible for you to play a full-bodied role that's just as well-written as anything else. So, oh, my God. Props, because I, I... I got really immersed in that one. I played um, all of them. I played all of them so many times, but mm. especially the third one, because mm-hmm. because of one thing. The Citadel DLC, where you get to hang with the crew, mm-hmm. and I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a great, se- yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, so, uh, it's like because you fell in love, you you felt like yeah. that, that you know, they these... are your crew, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, Oh, and Jennifer Hill, yeah, F- oh. I won't call her femship because I didn't play as the other one, she was my no. ship. It, she was my ship, <laughs> she was <well>. my ship, <laughs> 100%, 100%. 100%. She, she just nailed that role so perfectly. Yeah. I can see you as a live action. Fem Shepherd easily. Yeah, yeah. Easily. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not actually seven foot tall though. This is the pro- this is a bit of a problem here. <laughs> they are I boots and I would and... make it into the military. <laughs> They'd have to like, yeah, either find everyone a lot, lot shorter than me or yeah, like, that's it would it. just like CGI the whole thing so I'm like, easy foot taller. Easy. I'm I'm five foot three, so I can I can I'm five on. four. Five so four? we could do it together <gasps> and just normalize that height on screen. Yes. As long as everyone's around that height or shorter, it'd be fine. Easy peasy. But please don't kill me if it's Mass Effect. I want to be in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a condition. Lily has to be a full character. Please. No, I'm... death. No, please. I mean, I'm happy to die, but just like not don't, at the beginning. No, 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 because no, don't give him an inch. No dying. No I'm dying. not dying. I'm, I'm living. <laughs> <laughs> One day. This is a very important question on this podcast. Sure. And I'm very interested to hear what you have to say. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to ask what is your favorite movie because that's mm-hmm. too easy. I'm going to ask what is your comfort movie? The movie that you can just grab, watch it however many times you want it. It gives you peace. It gives you comfort. It's just yours. Because that, if that's well worded because my favorite film mm-hmm. is not my comfort film. Mm-hmm. I, I will watch that every couple of years because I don't want to get too familiar with it. I want to get, but my my comfort film is this is Spinal Tap. I can watch that forever and ever and ever and ever, oh, and it's so funny. It still yeah. works. Yeah, I had to oh. think about it because um, I'm more of a TV kind of person. I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to ask that as well. On... <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to ask the TV side of this. So, do you yeah. have a comfort TV show? It's sort of, I think it's sort of related to hangovers, really. Okay. Um, when I was growing up, I'd watch um, Red Dwarf okay. or, or Bottom with Rick Mail and Adrian mm-hmm. Emerson. Yep. And yep, it was yep. just those those two on a loop, basically. And, and then it became like hang, hangover fair because I felt so comfortable just like being in pain from the hangover, <laughs> just watching it. It was just so joyful. And like Red Dwarf is just, it's so good. Yeah, so much good. of it. And it's just the quality is so good. And they've really... They've just worked with the age of the actors as well. They haven't tried to pretend. You know, the premise is so depressing, right? Mm. This is the last human true, in space. True. And this yeah. is, he's, you know, he's got the guy he hates. It's his company, you know. And I just, it's just such a nice, clever little little thing. And and they've kept it really fresh, actually, over yeah. the years. So yeah. even what episodes I haven't watched before, I think mm. I could just put put on and, and chill to. And just watch it. Very relaxed in this. I love mm. them. Oh, these are very good choices. But usually people don't know like what is their comfort movie. So usually like, uh, mm. hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, you know, because for me, it's, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's the Shawshank Redemption. Huh. Old, yeah. I, I can't watch it whenever. Uh, sometimes I will just randomly put it in. And it's just, uh. you know, the whole aspect of it, of just hope and everything. In yeah. It. It's just, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It speaks Aww. to me so loudly every time yeah. <laughs> makes me emotional all, all the time it's mm, beautiful beautiful movie uh but it's different from my favorite movie so you know i it was when you said that i was like mm-hmm, what's there. your favorite movie my favorite movie is saving private ryan oh uh, interesting yeah cool yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah. It, it's not a comfort movie no 
definitely. My, my favorite movie is Blade Runner. Um, I love Blade I, Runner. I wouldn't want to watch that every night because I actually like the, you know, after a couple of years, you don't remember absolutely everything. So mm. I quite like the novelty. It's like reading a book, isn't it? You come back and you've changed. The movie or the book hasn't changed. You've changed and you yes. get a different message from it. And I just love that. And and I've been playing cyberpunk at the moment. And nice, like, nice. Blade Runner. <laughs> it's so cool. Did you read the book? What, do Androids Dream of Electric mm-hmm. Sheep? Um, no, I haven't actually. I haven't read that. It's a short story, isn't it? Or is it a novella? It's uh, um, short-ish, I would say. Like it's yeah. it's not like a full board like novel. Yeah, uh, I actually find he's he's well adapted. It's not my favorite author, mm. but but in terms of like God, the end of thing, uh, yeah. prolificness of the ideas. It's the same with like watching um, Asimov's uh, Foundation. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Which yes, yes, yes. I don't know the books, but people who've read it are like, oh, they've sexed it up for TV, and I'm like, good. <laughs> this is hard going. I mean, I'm loving it, but this is hard going. And apparently, they're all men in the books. Oh, thank God they yeah. changed that. <laughs> I find I've, it a very hard watch. <laughs> because I, I tried to read those books. They were not for me. And I love mm-hmm. the series. Yeah. I love the series. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And I haven't I haven't seen any internet revolutions, people kicking tables over. So, no. Yeah. You yeah. stick to the original. So, that's, that's, that's something. Good. Do you have a favorite book? Now I have to ask. Or if oh, yeah, 1984, I'm a miserable bastard. <laughs> That's actually one I've really thought about for years. And it just never stops being amazing yeah. and relevant. And oh, you know, just... there's always the bits that people quote over and over again, but it's the, the world building of it is so smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very specific, you know, because, you know, he's obviously writing about um, Cold War if, if the Soviets yeah. win. Yeah. Um, and that's just very, you know, or, or you're thinking about like... Um, uh, Beef Vendetta is set in that similar yep. kind of world, and those are I find 100%. those quite interesting things. Rather than just saying, "Oh, all the newspeak stuff," or oh, "This is just like the government," or they're... it's I actually enjoy the world of the book as well, and, and I just yeah. Think, yeah, really, really smart stuff. It's very scary that we we kind of living in it a tiny yeah. bit. I mean, he was saying we were living in it back then. That's the <laughs> yeah, we're still living in it, George. Thanks, <laughs> mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not a playbook. You're not supposed to like lift things out of 1984 and then enact them you know that yeah. right now please leave it there <laughs> please leave it alone it's a warning not an instruction manual i don't think people understand what a warning is a lot of time like isn't know. it interesting though like you know there's a saying that if you don't learn from history you're doomed to repeat it oh, i've been it's... seeing a lot of that i've been seeing a lot of it and i yeah. go how how it feels like things are going backwards 100 percent. i think my parents generation and, and what they went through and those things were progressing right and just going mm. forward and forward and forward and now we're going with these hard sort of hard when one rights that people have we're yeah. having to like go shit we're not safe there's always gonna be someone that wants to rip it up and so that's an interesting mindset to be in it's not about being on guard but it's also yeah. about like finding your tribe thankfully the, the flip side of the internet is that you can find your tribe in all Very sorts true. of parts of the world you know it's it's all got all our, our in echo chambers but what's if you're a marginalized person, what's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> it's always used know. as an argument. Is I don't want to hang out with people that don't want me to exist. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather oh. not. Yeah, just if that's all right. I'm with you. you. I'm I'm with you 100. Yeah. percent Like uh, we we literally just talked about this uh, with Katie. We did an extra bonus episode uh, on sex education. We just finished yeah. it, uh, and uh, you know, it really should be the normal that we all exist. We all love who we love. We all look how we look. And that's it. Ten minute and... lesson, isn't it? Yeah. It's like yeah. consent. That's the thing. Do the consent thing. Yeah. Um, just get out of other people's business. And that's it. Uh do do no harm, take no shit. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard. It? It's, it's not, hard. not that come hard. <laughs> like, come on. But like uh we know but because we always but I <laughs> One of my favorite things, because we always talk about this, that, you know, my dad is always like, uh, when someone does something stupid in a movie, he's always like so fed up. And I'm like, but here's the thing. (laughs) Real people do this, dad. We're going to do it. That's how like some people work. Like, oh, that's this thing I cannot touch. I will touch it. That's been what's just to bring about this game that I just did, this thing that we were going to talk about. Uh, it, there's a lot of that isn't there like you can be really stupid there will be consequences there will be consequences and that's what I loved about it and I think that's what I was saying to you before about like the difference between the play style of a tabletop mm-hmm. gamer versus a video gamer 
because a video yep. game goes, oh, it's one way to do this. One way to, yep. And I'll get it right. And the yep. tabletop game goes, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> and the great thing about Baldur's Gate is that it's coded for the awful. Yeah. The game will still happen when you make the awful roll, and you're just going to have to live with it. Yeah, you're just going <laughs> to be like... you don't. You can go back and say <laughs> It's more like Eternal Darkness, where it messes with you. You ever played that? Yes. I yeah, GameCube. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? It is good, but I'm like... <laughs> have you got horrible memories? Yeah. Yeah, just I just like... like the way it went. So anyone that hasn't hasn't, it's like a Lovecraftian kind. It's like Lovecraft it crossed, crossed with um, Resident Evil. You go through like this whole family's encounters with this mm. unknowable god, essentially, right? But exactly, the game yeah. likes to really mess with you. It plays with what they call insanity, <laughs> and uh, at points it will do things like switch off your screen, turn your volume down, delete, your, appear to delete your save files. My favorite one was oh. when it said, "Thank you for playing the demo of." I had, I, play at night. Huh? I had trauma from that game i was <laughs> like so sorry uh, there should be more of that in Baldur's gate like thank you for playing the demo oh, God. 82 hours in no i would i would die i would jump out of my window and be like what? <laughs> don't don't, oh, don't do that don't no do i that. won't <laughs> <laughs> but i would definitely freak out like oh, why would you, you do this to me and wisely now we delete all your save files you know okay i i will <laughs> I hate that this happens because I'm like, this is how stupid I am sometimes because I don't pay attention. So you know that Asterion has the whole Casador thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Act 3, I'm, I'm going to do that. Like, Not not at first because I'm sure uh, that you need like hit points and whatever to, to yeah, beat that. Yeah, save it for, for later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, save it for later. So I went for it when I was like already at level 11 or something like that. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> I did the whole scene where, you know, Astarian gets dragged uh, into the ritual and everything. And I started fighting, doing mm -hmm. the tactical stuff. And, and then suddenly a message pops out, like, uh, <laughs> one of your <laughs> mem like, crew members left the crew permanently. And I was like, what? And I looked up and it was like a blood spread. <laughs> Astarian was, and I was like, my boyfriend, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay attention to it at all. I thought oh, that you no. know, if you if you just beat Casador, that's it, and and yeah, you're yeah. done. Fuck no. No, no. And I was like, reload, reload, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm so glad that I am not streaming. This. Not streaming right now. Yeah. If everyone, look, everyone I've seen you stream has had these moments again. Oh look, my hand slipped. So I pressed reload. <laughs> Well, yeah yeah exactly yeah it's just like no i'm not living with the consequences of my actions absolutely no, not no 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 way no way in hell like, i have I secret didn't... inspiration dice i didn't tell you about i get to reload <laughs> like i i honestly was traumatized i was like i oh. i i did evil things for this man like now he's gonna die fuck no <laughs> so no no no, <laughs> no, no you no, don't no, die no. sweets we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do so google how do you beat Kesson? <laughs> <laughs> and funny. then and then i cheated on the game a little bit i didn't know you can so it's like it's not all me but i i started to like before it got to the cut scene yeah. of the whole talk that they have i started to place people where it wouldn't just get <laughs> cut and then i made shadow heart teleport in the middle and yeah. the fight just started so yeah. I never captured the Therion or anything and i was like amazing Really? <laughs> I'm a gene. I'm a tactical genius. I am. <laughs> yeah. I figured that's for your dark urge run, though. You see, you can go back and yeah, yeah, yeah. Best Fun times. Yeah. Fun times. Honestly, <laughs> right. Uh, gonna turn back. Well, we already turned back to the game. Uh, so, I you kind of answered this question. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's a stupid question at at this point. But you're you're a gamer. Yeah. I think we can we can establish that. I uh, play games. I wouldn't want anyone to corner me and try and like. Let me to answer a question correctly. I won't know, but I like a game or two. Okay. Yeah. What kind of games do you like? That's the question then. Oh, yeah, I'm terrible. This is like why I end up playing Barbarian in D&D &D and then getting the role as the Barbarian and going, yeah, I think I've got this. <laughs> um, I like just going up to things and hitting them. So um, same. that's Legend of Zelda. That's uh, Assassin's Creed. That was some of okay. my Mass Effect gameplay. That mm -hmm. was um, certainly yep. Dragon Age because I could, I'd pick a fight 100%. or whatever. No, yep. I just I'm very dull with that. But um, then I just really like the narrative, mm. and I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. I'm terrible at being a, a magic caster, and that I just mm -mm. I haven't got the patience. No. But any any game that involves sneaking, that's going no. out of a window. No. That's not happening. I'm terrible. 
no. <laughs> a friend of my no. old flatmate used to play Metal Gear Solid and I'm like, keep <laughs> that away from me, Satan. How have you got the patience to play that? I, can't, ah. I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, um, advent- I think adventure game. Uh, the one exception is is this one behind me, The Last of Us, which, you know, there's some sneaking in there. There's some sneaking in, and, and actions have consequences in that game, don't they? Yeah. Very heavily. Sometimes things that you didn't even do have consequences. And you're like, what? what's going on? Oh, this is horrible. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. And still millions Great of game. people are in love with it. Oh, it's a like, fantastic it's... game. Yeah. Oh. So good, honestly, so good. You played Dungeons and Dragons before. It 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 wasn't your first time on your little little, you know. No, I might have made it look like it was my first time. No, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I played in person a lot around 2019, and then something okay. happened, and I couldn't go into person events anymore. I don't know if you, it affected the world or just UK, but there was this outbreak thing. Yeah, well, there's something yeah, so... like that. I heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's partly why I was finding the dice hard because I've been playing um oh was it roll 20 roll 20 yeah yeah so I haven't touched a dice a die in in years I was playing with okay. a friend online but no it's funny because my first I, I played two characters my first was um a dragonborn barbarian because okay. I don't want to learn all the rules of combat I was like it just hits just like how I play video games and just exactly hit stuff. great yeah, yeah. Uh, and, oh I can hit them harder if I rage great let's do that Easy. And then the second one was okay. I wanted something a bit more acted, and so I thought I play a warlock because they're like yeah. proper emo. Yeah, and yeah. I'll make it a tiefling because oh. they're so so awesome. Yeah. So like between them, I played a barbarian and I played a tiefling. So mm. they were nice. quite useful. <laughs> Just a very regretful, <laughs> regretful tiefling uh, warlock, of course. Yes. And tried to get out of the pact as soon as she could, like every warlock does. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I yeah, love good that. times. I love that. I I was my first ever D and I was changeling. Because I was like oh. fascinated with the whole concept yeah. of of like you know you can change into whoever you want to, and I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, please. So I was the biggest idiot in the whole game. <laughs> nice. like, like that we we had a scene where we were on a ship, and I got jealous of of how the captain sleeps in in a beautiful big boudoir. So I I I changed into the captain, <laughs> 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 and I did a deception <laughs> on the first man, and I. I I succeeded. What, so I, sorry, what happened to the actual captain? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit like Orin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was very nice no, and very Very silly. nice, yeah. No, no, no. The he captain just, he was just, never seen again. He just learned how to swim. It's yeah. That's it. Yeah, no, I, I got you first time. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever played as a bard? No, not yet. It's I've always wanted to play, but I don't have the patience again. No, uh, I want to start at ten yeah. or something. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't I'm the same. Just, like, yell the odd sass, half sassy line from the back, and then like just yeah. do a bit of inspiration. Try not to get hit. But it's such a great. Yeah, I love the charisma class. I mean, obviously they're so yep. much fun as well. They're the best ones. I would die. That's the thing with it. Yeah, like, I, I I actually started playing um, Baldur's Gate as a, a halfling bard because oh. I thought oh. that'd be cheeky and fun. Yes, she's got nine HP. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? What is this? Nine. What am I supposed to do with this? We've got Shadow Heart. He's like got ten at <laughs> least. <laughs> oh no! What have I done? So I had a really frustrating run, and then I was like, "Well, you always were going to play as Carla because it's just hilarious. You can commentate yep. on yourself." Um, let's do it. And she just smashed everything. Got got everything done, and I was like, that, "That's why I play this way. I want the story." Don't care about the fighting. I'm the same. I'm the same. And <laughs> I have to say that even on the easiest setting here, yeah. it's so fucking hard. Oh, points. I'm playing easy. You think I'm crazy? I'm playing easy. <laughs> I'm playing easy as well. But at some points, I'm like, oh my god, it's cruel. It's it's the dice. I'm telling did you, you. Turn off the comic dice. I did, but then I was it's like, oh, this not. is yeah. this is not fair. So I turned it back on because I'm. I don't know. I have this weird. But the problem life. with that is it swings both ways, right? So if you have a good one, it's going to make okay. <laughs> you just like the extremes of it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. I'm, 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 it's 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 how I roll. It's chaotic, and I it like is, it. You it's know. a little bit chaotic. <laughs> Tied a bit. This is a very important one. It's mm-hmm. actually it's one of my friends who who wanted me to ask you this, and okay. this friend's name is definitely not Lily. <laughs> Are you changeling again? <laughs> so do you have a message for those who find comfort in Carlex's character or can relate to her 
I, first of all, like as a performer, that's just the biggest compliment because I said I like to move people, right? But yeah, obviously I'm not the writer, right? It's not my message. It's not my mm-hmm. um, journey. I'm just a chess piece, right? But if someone comes up to you and said you you somehow change them for the better or it's made them look at themselves or, or in Carlax's case, maybe made them accept something that mm. they don't have the power to change and it's made them happier for it. <laughs> Yeah. It's like being a great therapist or something. Do you know what I mean? I and mean, I yeah. really respect the work of therapists. So yeah, I'm I'm that was not what I went in it to do. I went it to do uh, went in it to do a, an authentic character, right? And mm. so that's why I was mm. going, yes, but she's still trying to write, okay, right, this is how it all fits together and we're gonna make this whole person um and, and make her believable. But I never thought she would be um so liked by so many different kinds of people. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like she's clearly lesbian coded, right? Let's just be honest here. Let's and when, and when the suffix saw her, they went crazy. Before like anything mm. came out of my mouth, they were they were on board, right? And then there were some angry men men on the internet <laughs> who were like, yes. scars and taller than me. <laughs> and then that's all gone now. Yeah. That's all gone away. Yes. And all the big beardy men want Colac to pick her, pick them up in battle and carry them to safety. You know, they, they just they love her. And if it's not romantically as a as a friend, yeah. And I think to get to get all that across with the te- I mean, it's a text as well with the text I've been given, um, despite the looking terrifying. You know, I was talking about yeah. gentle giants earlier. You know, and and yeah. I think very big men have to be extra gentle because people are terrified of them. So it sort of True. goes both ways. But yeah, no, I've had some messages and it's incredible. Mm. I'm I'm absolutely blown away. I'm blown away and I'm so pleased because you don't want someone to walk away feeling terrible about themselves oh, yeah. because of the fictional thing you did. Yeah. Um and someone set up um this is for like the uh, an American heart charity. Someone mm-hmm. set up a, a fundraiser in Carlac's name and they've been really? raising money. <laughs> yeah, and they've been raising money. And I've just I just can't oh, get my God. head around it. And it's so inspiring. And you just like if that helps oh. if that helps make raise money for them like absolutely go for it but yeah yeah no I've had a few people like actually contact me to say that that we help I say we because it's me and the writer and the team you know we help them yeah. do something really difficult and and they've it's made them feel better about themselves so I, I share the messages with the team and they're just mm. like what <laughs> this is incredible yeah. and I'm sure it's the same with, with other other characters because there is so much trauma we're so we have the time to tell mm-hmm. the story of someone trusting someone enough to open up to them and yeah. why, you know, we're talking about how evil people don't think of themselves as evil. They, you know, Starring doesn't think of himself as evil. No. He's a victim of circumstances and he is surviving, you know? 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you may be getting in his way. You might not necessarily care about anything, but that's his perspective, you know? Um, yeah. And I think, yeah, we've all got, you know, all the characters have their secrets and I'm sure everyone's getting equivalent messages from, from people. But yeah, no, wow. What a thing to be part of, eh? so cool honestly it's it's like again this is just a fantastic game like i i even recommend it to people who will never play D or mm. or don't know uh, anything about it that's it's... quite a learning curve though isn't it like it is never played... yeah, but I com- super easy mode where you yeah. don't have any combat you just yeah that's it that's it just go for that but like you know because for example my brother he just doesn't get D and never understood it so i yeah, was like Played, oh, yes. and, and, and how has he responded to it? Has he played? He watched me play. <laughs> okay. You can play and... couch co-op, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So he, 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 yeah. Get him as the barge. You can stand at the back yeah. of the chassis. Yeah, exactly. I, I told him that, that you know, they're like, button. easy, easy. Because he couldn't get into Mass Effect. So that was my fear. Yeah, I was going to say that's quite a, a much easier RPG, like on a technical yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. So I'm so like... Why are, you, why are you throwing this at them? <laughs> Because I'm evil. <laughs> Are you the older sister? No, I'm the youngest. <laughs> oh, I'm the younger too. <laughs> I am the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to you got to do some sort. Oh, you got to fuck them up, haven't you? I mean, yeah, that's part tiny of the bit. job. <laughs> it comes with titles. <laughs> yeah, nice. You know, not just the evil card, but like everything. Just the youngest sister being the bit of spoon little naughty. Devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Samantha. Before I let you go, there are two things. Mm-hmm. One of them. Is, is a little secret that I will let you on. Uh, your name, Samantha, is my mm. favorite name. <laughs> I'm not but joking. You say that to all the girls. No, no. I, I literally, I, I wrote a book uh, back in 2020, and the main character's name is Samantha. 
or Sam. Awesome. What what made you like that? I mean, my mum was a massive fan of the name, but I... it wasn't a family name, so I don't know. I can't it's tell you. Yeah, she got, she got dunked on by her auntie. She's like, "Why are you naming her after that witch?" <laughs> and it's just like a t like a, co- a comedy TV show from the fifties, which I wasn't named after, by the way. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know why I love that name so much, oh, but like you. I love the name Samantha. It's just I don't, it talks to me. I can't explain it better. It's just like mm. apparently it's Arabic for listener, or it has that root. I don't listen very much. I need to work on it. <laughs> I'm de- defying your norms. Um, yeah, so it's okay. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is is a is a tiny role playing D and D session <laughs> because yeah. I I prepared something for Carlick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you nutter. Hit me with it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Carlick. So, hey, lately, I noticed that you've been a bit sad, I would say. Just, uh, you know, I I noticed these things. Uh, and I thought that uh, I would try and make you happy uh, a little bit. So, I prepared something for you, if you want it. Very thoughtful, soldier. It's going to be very shiny at first, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I, I will try to hold it up. Uh, it's like... <laughs> that's what Carla would say <laughs> so gorgeous thank is you. that by you yes <gasps> you're so talented thank you why are you lying down dead in things when you have this skill <laughs> I to, to be honest with you the, oh. the the only reason I'm at comic is but not the only reason because I go for the people as well but uh I'm selling my art oh there. fabulous yeah and and you're gonna get this because I made this for you Thank you very much. Gratefully so received. I'm, I'm, I can't I think wait. You cheered Carla up, but she can't touch it, obviously, depending on where you are in the game. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of that. I said to Mark, the, the D&D guy, before, I, before yeah. like I was like, where are we? He said, Act 1. I was like, you know, I can't touch any, I can't touch a thing in this game. Yeah. Like, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> so a lot of the time I was just like, can't touch Scratch. Yeah, He's going to die. Yeah. Can't touch, can't help anyone. I'm just going to stand here being on fire. Thanks. You're, you're fine in my game now. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all, all, all good. the touching, I imagine. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first thing I did was like, oh my God, can I hug you? Yes. I love the hug scene. Isn't how, it? Yes. Oh, it it's came so out beautiful. really well. So beautiful. It came out really because you just don't know how these things land. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, uh, for perfect. me, that's better than the kissing. It's a bit awkward for everyone when you kiss in front of everyone in the forge. I'm like, oh God, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. But the hug is just. Rendered it's so beautiful. beautifully, yeah. That's uh, Jason Latino's team, cinematics. <gasps> nice. That's it's it's honestly because I'm a hog person, so I love hogs. Yes. Just like a, I love a hog. wink, yeah. wink, wink for October. <laughs> I'll I'll give you a, a hug with the confidence of a seven foot person, but a only little. But I'll try and bear right. hug you. The the yeah. hobbits are gonna come together and give nice. us. Give, give, give a thank hug. you You're that's welcome. gorgeous <laughs> yeah i'm so glad you like it uh, oh god how could i not don't be silly I... <laughs> it's amazing i i have confidence issues and imposter syndrome and everything so i'm like mm. <laughs> i i'm trying i'm tr- I, awful at taking compliments so i'm like haha i'm gonna hit you with them lady <laughs> you're gonna like it eventually i i try <laughs> I can promise then. Uh, <laughs> before I let you go, where can people find you on the big vast internet? Yeah, so my favourite uh, void to scream into mm. is Twitter. Yes. Where I am, Samantha Bayot, one word. Um, that also has a link tree, because I'm really bad at remembering where I am. I've got a okay. Twitch channel because we're doing streamily signings, and that's one way to do it. I'm also planning to do a Carlac run, just full on chaos, <gasps> pants on fire sort of stuff. I've 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 done little bits and I did a smash cut version yes, and I yes. put it on Twitter and people liked it and I thought oh yeah that could be good except I cut out all the boring bits so it might be a Q and A <laughs> you know it's like a director's commentary that, yeah, that was the yeah. idea behind it but also Carlac does talk to herself mm. she narrates herself there's a great <laughs> bit early on where um she has a soul coin and she's like oh oh god yeah and then she says out loud oh yes i'll keep this safe what are you gonna do with it car <laughs> and it's just it's just out loud in her head and then like me over the top of it as well it's just it's just wonderful yeah, beautiful it's just silliness um 
so I'm, all, all that's stopping me is um, my availability because I'm on holiday next week and I didn't want to start a run and then have a three week break or something in between. So mm -hmm, I'll mm -hmm, do one every mm -hmm. week. That's the idea. Don't hold me to it. Um, I'm looking for human mods. That's really it because I know there's naughty people out there and we don't, we want everyone to feel safe, including me actually, but yeah, you know, our yeah. audience as well. <laughs> um, everything else is, yeah, it's just, it'll just be my name one word, as one word. That's it. It's very it's yeah. easy to find, but Twitter said link tree. Yeah, because it's usual IMDb and stuff like that and um, demo reels and silliness and <laughs> old the... interviews I've done, you know, all that sort of thing. It's all on Linktree. So all the yeah, good things. There. Come say hi. Yes. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description so everyone can uh, find Samantha down there. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, you know, where to find us, find Katie as well. She's going to be in the descriptions. Find me as well, Art of Lyrica everywhere. And find a podcast, which is like, I'm just going to put it in there. <laughs> If you have that the acronym. It trips off the tongue. It's beautiful. Because it's it's we have a very long name to all the films yeah. we judged before. So I'm like yeah. it's yeah, in nice. the description. Yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> so thank you so much, Samantha. This was the best time ever. Yeah, um, thanks, Lily. Uh, so happy. Uh new bestie found. Done. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> uh and i see you in october in person yay let's do this thing yeah, let's do this all right thank you everyone don't forget watch movies and play Baldur's gate 3 <laughs> <laughs>